going to compare the characteristics of both kinds of research, including their purpose, research questions, hypothesis, data analysis, and final reports. Let's talk about the purpose of both types of research. The purpose of qualitative research is to explore the meaning of people's experiences, the meaning of people's cultures, the meaning of how people view a particular issue or case, known as a case study. But the purpose of quantitative research is to examine the relationship between variables. Let's define a variable. A variable is a characteristic. We'll talk more about this in just a second. But for this class, we're going to learn about three kinds of variables, independent, dependent, and extraneous. Independent variables are variables or characteristics that are manipulated by the researcher. Dependent variables are characteristics that are impacted by that manipulation of the independent variable. Extraneous variables are variables that are extraneous to what the researcher is really trying to focus on. And they're usually demographic information, information such as age, sex, race, ethnicity, things like that. So let's say a researcher makes a poster that says, hey, you probably got some of you or other people's pee or poop on your hands, so wash your hands. The researcher puts up a poster, puts up that poster in one bathroom and doesn't put it in another bathroom. Then the researcher watches to see if more people wash their hands after peeing or pooping who were exposed to the poster compared to those who were not exposed to the poster. It turns out that more people washed their hands who went to the bathroom where the poster was. The independent variable in this study is the poster on the wall. It was manipulated by the researcher. The dependent variable was the characteristic of hand washing. It was the effect of there being or not being a poster in the bathroom. Some extraneous variables are the people in the bathroom's age, sex, race, ethnicity, and so on. The point of the study was to examine the relationship between these variables. More hand washing the dependent variable took place in the bathroom that had the poster, which was the independent variable. Let's talk about research questions. Since qualitative research is exploratory in nature, qualitative research questions usually start with the words what or how, since these words imply discovery or exploration. <coughs> Excuse me. For example, a qualitative research question could be, what are college students experience in trying to eat healthy on campus? or how do college students celebrate the subcultural holiday of 420. Because qualitative research is exploratory, it typically does not have a hypothesis, which is a prediction. In a nutshell, qualitative research tries to explore, not predict, participants' views. Similar to qualitative research, quantitative research questions can start with the words what or how, but they might also include the word does in the beginning of the question. In descriptive quantitative research, research questions ask how much, how often, what's the relationship between variables, what's the difference between the variables. For example, what percent of male college students wash their hands after using campus bathrooms or what is the relationship between college student gender and hand washing practices after using campus bathrooms. In experimental research questions, research questions, this is where they might start with the word does, such as does hand washing increase when a poster is placed in a campus bathroom? Compared to qualitative research, quantitative research does have hypotheses or predictions about what will happen in the study. Typically, in qualitative research, researchers collect more than one type of data in order to get a better, more holistic picture of what's going on in the field. The data used in qualitative research is almost always in what people say or their words. This data usually comes from interviews, documents like newspapers or journals, etc., observations and audiovisual materials like videos or audio recordings. Researchers usually obtain multiple types of these kinds of data in order to answer a research question. All of this data comes from the field, which means the natural settings where participants are. In qualitative research, researchers go into the field and spend a lot of time there interviewing and observing the participants in their environments. It's also important to note that surveys or questionnaires are also known as instruments. Well, in qualitative research, there are no instruments, no surveys. In qualitative research, the researcher is the instrument. What this means is that the researcher acts as an instrument. The researcher is kind of like a living survey. They ask all the questions and make observations instead of relying on surveys to gather data. It's also important to note that a hallmark of qualitative research is its emergent design. This means that the way in which the study is conducted can change during the study. During qualitative research, it may become apparent that other forms of data from other groups of people should be included 
into the study. For instance, let's say that a researcher is studying college students' experience trying to eat healthy on campus. Originally, the researcher has planned to just interview a bunch of students, but let's say that, the, that during the interviews, the students keep talking about the ice cream area of the cafeteria and student union, how there's over 400 kinds of ice cream and you have to walk around the ice cream to get to the apples and on and on and about the ice cream bar. Well, the researcher hears enough students talk about this crazy ice cream bar that the researcher decides that observational data should be included in the study. She needs to see the ice cream bar for herself and see how it overshadows the apple bin. She needs to see why everyone's talking about this crazy ice cream bar. So the research design emerges and different kinds of data might be collected as the study goes on. The data for quantitative research is in the form of numbers. These numbers usually come from what people check off on instruments, which are surveys or questionnaires, or observational checklists and so on. So qualitative research looks at words, quantitative research looks at numbers. Let's talk about analysis. In qualitative research, analysis is all about creating themes. Researchers read their interviews, look at documents, observations, and audiovisual materials, and then they organize all of that data, all of those words, into themes. This can take a considerable amount of time. There are often pages and pages of interview transcripts to read. For example, let's say a researcher interviewed students about their experience eating healthy on campus. From the interview, there were over 80 pages of interview text to read. From those pages, the researcher was able to group the data or analyze the data, group into three major themes, which were students believe that there was a lack of healthy options on campus, the students believed the healthy options were too expensive, and they believe they felt that unhealthy options were just too tempting. It's important to note here that qualitative research is inductive in nature. That means that the research questions, the data collection, the analysis, and all that stuff is not based off of a theory or, or preconceived notions that the researcher has. The researcher lets the data speak for itself and form itself into themes without the bias of a, an existing theory or existing um, ways of thinking about things already. On the other hand, in quantitative research, analysis involves the use of statistics to crunch numbers and figure out what those numbers mean in terms of answering a research question. Qualitative research looks at themes, quantitative num research and analysis crunches numbers, statistics. Quantitative research is also usually deductive. It's based from existing theories and information that's already out there to help form research questions and how data is collected and how it's analyzed. Let's talk about the final report. In qualitative research, the final report is usually narrative in nature. The authors will sometimes write in the first person. It's more interpretive and it contains a lot of writing and it has direct quotes from participants. The final reports for quantitative research are more rigid in form and it's more in the form of a statistical report. In conclusion, there are noteworthy differences between qualitative and quantitative research in terms of their purpose, research questions, data analysis, and so on. And this video is just an intro to each style of research. We're going to go into way more depth as the semester continues with each form of research. So thanks for a great journey, and I'll see you in class.